So this is one of those effects which will not be hard on your PC and you can do it with minimum configurations. So let's get started. Okay, let's begin. So first of all, I will go into my material preview mode and I will also open up my shader editor. And let's see what we have here. We are not going to play with this. So we, I will just select all of this and press Ctrl G and click on this marker. And now we have the main material as grouped. So first of all, I need a wireframe this and you can click on pixel size and get more uniform wireframe effect on this so the thing is we need to have a mask between this original material and the wireframe so for that let's get our wireframe mode sorted first because as it stands we cannot see through this so for that I will go into my EV let's try this on EV and I will press N on it to get this menu options and you will have blend mode opaque set it to alpha clip and shadow to alpha clip all right then i am going to add a mix shader and i am going to mix what emission with transparent and i can set my trans uh, emission to any color maybe let's try blue and i am going to mix these with wireframe like that and uh, let's also try reversing this up and now this is it we have a cool wireframe effect we can also increase the strength of it maybe increase the size this is how it looks but I think we are comfortable with 0.5 I guess and now we require an external object which mixes our original shader and our wireframe shader all right so first for that I am going to spawn uh, an empty like this you can spawn any object but I am going with empty and I will also get my texture coordinates I am going to select this and let's plug in our object to the material output and we have something like this it is interacting but let's also add victim math set it to length and now we have black and white which is which can act as a mask but we need more controls over it I will add add I will connect it again and I will subtract it a little to get more controls over the flow of it and let's add a color ramp and also let's go B spline for a smoother flow all right so now this is this can act as a mask between these two shaders all right so for that let's add a mix shader and connect these two in and let's mix them like this we have a cool mixing effect between our emission and our wireframe all right but we are not over but this effect is cool on its own and now let's just finally kill this off by adding a mix shader and also a transparent in let's mix them together and i will also use my original gradient mask with an object and i will connect it here and there you have it and the best part here is that you can still customize the wireframe then and i can maybe use a green color like i used earlier and this is it thank you for watching like and subscribe